Welcome to Dig Deep, the mining podcast. In this podcast, we go deep into mining news, hot topics, and live interviews with mining professionals and leading figures in the mining industry. Introducing your host, Rob Tyson, founder and director of Mining International and Mining International Executive, a leading global mining recruitment and headhunting agency. Hi, mining community. Welcome back to another episode of the Dig Deep, the mining podcast. And today's guest is Dawn Larson, who's the Digital Solutions Manager for EpiRock, who are a leading productivity partner for the mining infrastructure and natural resources industries. With cutting edge technology, EpiRock develops and produces innovative drill rigs, rock uh, excavation and construction equipment and provides world-class service uh, and consumables. Dawn has a strong background in software and digital technology um, in the mining industry and is here today to to actually discuss EpiRock and how new technology can help mining companies become more efficient and improve in safety and many more things. So that's welcome Dawn to the podcast. How are you doing Dawn? I'm doing great. Thanks for the opportunity. No, and I appreciate your time. You're an avid listener um, as we discussed previously. Uh, or before the show, you're an avid listener, and obviously you approached me and wanted to come on, come on to the podcast. So um, I wanted you to tell our audience a little bit about your your background, your career, um, before we uh, talk more about EpiRock. Sure. Well, I have a long history in digital software. I've been a software entrepreneur for the last 15 years and and owned and sold a very successful um, SaaS company, software as a service company. And uh, for about 15 years, I worked specifically underground with the mining industry, introducing mine personnel to uh, innovation, like you know, energy optimization, ventilation on demand, and really working with mine management to help uh, that work in, and integrate that step change of adopting innovation and technology. And so, uh, you know, in the last little while, EpiRock has recruited me as their digital solutions manager for Canada. And uh, here I am speaking with you. Yeah. So I wanted to let our audience know a little bit about uh, EpiRock, about the company um, and what you're looking to achieve. Well, Everyone knows that uh, EpiRock is known for its world-class mining equipment with its cutting edge automation that drives like optimal utilization. But to kind of maximize our, our value to our mine customers, uh, we, we've acquired many strategic world-class software solutions um, that uh, we can now work with our customers, our mine customers, and really engage them to identify even more business value for them um, by utilizing digitalization and their mine intelligence uh, through data to really develop uh, a digital roadmap. Because as you know, and many mine managers have said you know, in public, uh, software and digitalization is the uh, roadmap to the future and uh, many are rapidly adopting it within their minds right now. So with that said, you know, Epiroc Digital Solutions, we're, we're providing this leading edge technology agnostic software platform where we can help minds like monitor and measure and manage and optimize across the whole mining value chain. And this really is like you know, cutting edge. And so this enterprise integration is leading to increased like utilization and productivity and profitability by harnessing uh, a mine's uh, in data intelligence. So it's a really exciting time for both Epiroc and for the mining clients that we serve. Um, I think obviously, you mentioned that you've acquired many software companies or many companies. Um, I just wonder if you can just tell us a little bit more about that. Well, Epiroc is very strategic in ensuring that we are, you know, acquiring mining or sorry, mining software companies that a meet our values and our objectives, but really serve our clients. And so, you know, some of the cl- the software that has been acquired or companies that have been acquired over the last few years are uh, software companies like Mobilaris and MineRP and most recently RCT and 3DP. And all of those 
companies uh, meet a requirement for the mines to help them move along in the automation or digitalization roadmap. So we're really excited that you know all of the software uh, can work together to really achieve some incredible, incredible uh, results for our mine customers. Where can where can the digital soft, uh, mining software deliver the largest value for a mine or for a mining client? Is there specific areas that you focus on, or is it across the whole maybe mine mine operation, or yeah. maybe outside of operations as well? Yeah. Well, there's a, there's definitely some key areas where there is um, a big. Um, return on investment for mines. There's some areas that mines, you know, run across the biggest challenges and it would be underground would be with traffic congestion. Um, there's a lot of time lost around blasting times. Um, a lot of uh, productivity lost around lost assets. And there's a lot of challenges around the fact that there's no real time data to make uh, real-time decisions or change plans effectively. And, you know, um, again, another challenge is that there's a lot of data in the mind, but, you know, up until uh, Eperoc had solutions, there wasn't uh, an effective two-way integration of data back and forth from the, you know, the face to the control room to the boardroom. And so the exciting part is that Eperoc has software that solves all of those problems, right, from the working face to the boardroom. And so uh, all of those key areas where mines have the biggest challenge, lose the most money, need to optimize the most, our software solves that problem. So those are where you are the key challenges lie. One of the highlights on the situations where obviously your software increases mine safety, uh, utilization, productivity, or any other value add for, for a mine operation. Yeah, well, I thought I'd highlight some of the areas where mines have adopted the Eperoc digital solutions to show the biggest uh, return on investment. So, um, you know, our software, uh, so one of the elements of what our software does is it provides emergency support and situational awareness. So you have this, you know, incredible 3D uh, map that uh, mine personnel have full access to. And so it's really powerful. And in terms of uh, emergency support, now minds that adopt uh, the Eperoc Digital Solutions software can see all personnel, all equipment and all fixed assets in the mine in real time. And in case of say uh, emergency evacuations, uh, some of our minds have said that they're shaving off um, you know, a couple of hours in terms of, you know, doing the rescue planning. And, um, you know, uh, one of the examples was uh, Goldfields. They've shaved off uh, 40 minutes uh, off their mock evacuations using our digital solutions. So the situational awareness, the ability to see where mine personnel are, uh, to identify if they are tagged safe or unsafe, um, for the mine personnel to be able to look on a digital ta tablet or um, um, their digital phone and know where the nearest refuge station is. Um, and for the control room to know uh, what refuge stations are at full capacity and which ones aren't and to be able to you know, communicate two way with mine personnel is, is powerful. It's very powerful for mines and it really takes you know, um, safety to the next level. And so those things are, you know, impressive. When you, you know, um, uh, Fosterville Mine in Australia, uh, they use the Eperoc Digital Solutions software and they feel like they've uh, reduced their evacuation time by half. And uh, so that's incredible. And when you have those abilities to really, you know, um, give your rescue team um, a real time, um, you know, visual of where everybody is in the mines. You can even, uh, you know, have it so granular that you know which vehicles have stretchers on them and things like that. It really, really equips them with a lot of mine intelligence very quickly so that the rescue, um, you know, uh, 
procedures can happen in a really quick time. So that's one of the software solutions um, that mines are using right now. So the other um, you know, software I alluded to is situational awareness. So our um, mobile era situational awareness, what it does is it uh, again provides that 3D map of the mine and uh, it gives everybody from the mine personnel at the face to the um, you know, control room operators, really good real-time data. We monitor everything, people, equipment, fixed assets, uh, access points that are working or not working within the mine. And uh, it really helps people um, navigate through, through the mines. And if you can imagine the amount of new personnel or new uh, contractors that come in the mine, when they're able to use the situational awareness software, they can, without assistance, navigate through the mines. And if you can imagine the lost time trying to get from one end of the mine. Some mines have, you know, 90 miles of, of tunnels. And, uh, you know, when you, you're going to the mine infrequently, this really helps you get from point A to point B. But more importantly, with this situational awareness, um, there's a software solution that we have that's called Mobile Aeros on Board. And what it is, is it's the tablet that's in the vehicles. So, the um, people who are driving through the mines have real-time navigational access, just like Google Maps, but underground, if you can imagine. And it is so powerful because it's patent pending uh, technology where they can see through walls and around corners. And so you can really see uh, oncoming vehicles uh, early on, and then mine personnel can make strategic decisions to you know, pull off into pull off bays, um, you know, clear the ramps for production vehicles, and what it does is it really amplifies productivity, increases productivity and you know efficiency, and so uh, and reduces you know wear and tear on big mining vehicles. If you can imagine uh, the vehicles having to stop and start because they're you know coming into contact with mining vehicles, and now they don't have to worry about that because the uh, situational uh, awareness allows mine personnel to see well in advance uh, oncoming traffic and to make proactive decisions. You know, uh, the safety as aspect of that is, is huge as well. There's no more backing up when you, you know, encounter a mine vehicle, you can make those proactive decisions and, and the flow of vehicles and the, you know, the flow of uh, productivity is, is very powerful. And so, to that end, that situational awareness, you know, we have the tablets in the mining vehicles, but we also can equip mine personnel uh, with the situational awareness using something called pocket mine, where then mine personnel based on user roles can have access to all of that mine data as well. So they can, you know, in case of emergency, find the nearest refuge station. In case of looking for assets, like they come on to ship, they can find their equipment quickly and easily and get to it without searching and you know trying to make calls on the radio and things like that so just in those uh, it's very very powerful at what what could be accomplished right and then the other element of the software is you know kind of mind planning and it's called short interval control and what that does is it allows um, mind plans and tasks and work orders to be pushed through to either the tablet or to the uh, you know personnel's phone. And so work orders and real-time plans are shared back and forth and tasks are completed uh, and uh, you know sort of uh, checked off on the software, which allows mine um, leadership to really make some real-time decisions and and it really, um, optimizes the processes for, you know, purchase orders or requisitioning or things of that nature. Or if somebody, you know, if there's a delay in the mine, it can be reported, you know, we're always using the radios, but it's, you know, a lot of noise, a lot of time waiting. Whereas with digital, everything's tracked, time stamped, and mine leadership can make real-time decisions and pivot and, and make changes really quickly to optimize that process. So, the, those are some, there's many more, but I wanted to give you kind of an overview of some of those. And, you know, uh, some of our mines that are using it, like Hut Bay, um, they saw a substantial increase in productivity 
uh, just by, you know, um, implementing um, Epiroc software. Uh, they see that, you know, they increase their mucking rates, they uh, increase the, um, they decrease the time to get to the equipment. And mine personnel really bought into the equipment uh, and the technology because they could see how it was benefiting them and, you know, reducing the frustration of locating things and finding things. So looking at each individual pieces of software and the different programs what is some of the software minds are using at the moment to help solve some of their day-to-day -day challenges because um, i think you've, you have been speaking about sort of longer term what about any particular day-to-day -day challenges well, you know, in our software, we have something called a, plan, a short interval control or planning and scheduling software, and it's very powerful. It gives the minds real time decision making. So it moves us as minds to eliminate pen and paper. And, uh, it, you know, a lot of times in minds, they, you know, they issue a mind plan or, a, you know, a work plan. And they don't know till the end of the shift what really has happened. But with the Epiroc Digital Solution, and this is the most adopted by, you know, the minds, is that the short interval control dashboard shows de detailed real-time performance of say each loading unit and hauling fleet. It uh, kind of quantifies the uh, planned target versus the actual for, you know, uh, utilization and productivity KPIs in tons or volumes gained or lost. And it, it really quickly identifies, uh, you know, if, if, there's challenges in the productivity flow and it can really help mine managers optimize. So, you know, uh, we have some mines that, you know, they were evaluating through our Epiroc uh, digital solution, uh, you know, uh, tramming times. And they said, you know, there was somebody one, you know, one shift was always 12 minutes uh, quicker than the other shift, but they quickly could understand through Epiroc's software that the, the, you know, um, shift that was doing the quicker time was not uh, delivering higher productivity. There was less in their loads. And so the software really helps to analyze things in real time. And it gives you one version of the truth that you can really make some decisions on in real time during the shift and uh, it, short term and long term. So that's the powerful part is that the software really has great applications, uh, you know, day to day in the shift, but also long term in the mind plan. How can uh, um, a mind management team determine how much value there would be in implementing software uh, in their mind? Sure. Well, you know, there's there's really uh, three phases. If you know, as a mind moves to become more digital or more modernized, there's there's several stages that they you know have to go through. And one of them is finding out what they need on their digitalization journey. And, uh, you know, you know, they need, you know, a, a communications back backbone, they need to understand what they want to do with their data. And then they need to understand how they want to integrate it. And, you know, who's going to be looking at it and how they'll be looking at it. And so there's a lot involved with that. And so the great part is that Epiroc Digital Solutions um, Canada, we have a, a team, a team of experts, uh, mine experts and digital experts that offer a sort of a consulting service. So you don't even have to, in the end, use our software solution. It provides a very objective analysis. We call them rapid value assessments. And what we do is we go, our, our consulting team goes into mines and works with mine management to understand their needs and their wants and their long-term and short-term visions. And then we provide an objective analysis, uh, a technology agnostic uh, analysis and a digital roadmap of where the mines uh, need to go to get the best return on investment and where the um, best uh, return on investment and the value is going to be uh, in terms of that digital roadmap. So again, we're, we're looking and saying, here are your best options for you know investment and ROI and here's where you're going to see the best results and here are some other recommendations and so it gives you a really as a mine it gives you a powerful digital roadmap of what you need uh, when how to you know um, start implementing it 
and how it all fits together. And it really quantifies where the value is and the ROI. So that's a rapid value assessment. And so minds can just call Eparoc Digital Solutions Canada to, to you know, start that process. And then they have this digital roadmap that they can go uh, to implement. And usually, you know, a digital kind of modernization takes anywhere from three to five years. But, um, you know, some of the minds that have started on this are seeing an ROI within 12 months, which is really exciting. So yes, there's an investment in, in a digitalization uh, process, but when uh, minds are claiming that they're seeing an ROI in 12 months uh, for their investment, um, that's very powerful. Where, where's been the biggest in, uh, uptake in software implementation uh, in in the minds that you've uh, that you've seen uh, maybe even the, over the last twelve to eighteen months. Well, definitely, uh, we've seen it in the situational awareness. That is the most appealing for minds right now. You know, they've started to collect data off their machines, you know, using Eparoc Sixth Sense. So they've got their, you know, machine health and they're understanding that data. Now they've taken it to the next level where they really want to know where, uh, you know, what's happening in the mind. We're really taking the lid off the mind and making it transparent to all mind decision makers. And you know that information is accessible to all mine personnel based on user rules. So the powerful part is now that they, everything is connected: people, equipment, fixed assets, and even the health of the you know communication backbone or the access points can be viewed on a 3D map at all levels, from right from the working face to the control room to the boardroom. And so. It is uh, a solution that mines are, you know, rapidly uh, seeking, and uh, it's it's really great to see the adoption of it. It's really great to see that, you know, uh, mine managers and even all the way up to the board members are really understanding the value of situational awareness, both for uh, safety, you know, you know, again, uh, we talked about emergency support, but also for, you know, the productivity. We're really we're really trying to kind of uh, keep people safe while, you know, kind of increasing their workload. And we're, you know, optimizing productivity with this software and the minds are really seeing the advantage to that um, as well as optimizing people's safety at the same time. So it's a really powerful one, two punch, if you will, with software. What would you say some of the uh, downside is for, uh, a, a mine, a mine, or a mining company building their own software to address some of the issues that Epiroc software solutions can solve. Yeah, well, we were talking about this uh, earlier. You know, a lot of times we, you know, as a digital solutions uh, manager, I'll walk into mines and their their IT department will say, "We we could build something like that," or or my management will say, "You know, I'm going to get somebody internal to build some solution that will address that issue." And sure, there's there's qualified um, people in the mining industry that can do that, but um, you know, IT in the mines is relatively new, so you know, I do say that there's you know know, um, the, the uh, programmers and uh, whatnot coming into the mines are relatively new to the mine uh, sort of infrastructure and history, whereas, you know, Eparoc and uh, our software solutions have been around for quite a while and, you know, achieved a lot of great results. And the, the downside or the scary part of having, you know, internal software built is that, you know, it's, it's not developed in the same manner as, you know, uh, international software that, you know, has, you know, um, updates and regular standards and regular updates and releases, uh, you know, the security infrastructure within it, the uh, data structure within it. And so sometimes we find minds, you know, that will call us in and say, hey, can you help us fix this software? Um, our, you know, our IT people have moved on. And so that's the, the downside is uh, of doing it internally. Whereas when you have a software company like Eparoc, we have a huge support infrastructure that's available 24 seven we have standardized programming, we have regular, uh, you know, general releases of software updates. 
and it is, you know, optimally secure. And so, uh, you know, I, I challenge my management when they when they think about that is that yes, you could you could try that, but we've seen many instances where it doesn't work out in the long term. And truly, I I really feel, and this is only my personal assumption, is that you know the costs um, are the same. You, you're not saving because then you're having to go back and forth with that internal software. So those are some of the downsides I see. Are there other soft, uh, Epic, Epic Rock software solutions that solve, I suppose, big problems for uh, for mines? Well, they they like as I mentioned, they really solve a lot with productivity, profitability, and worker safety. And you know, the great part about uh, mine personnel starting to adopt digitalization is that they see that. There's not a, you know, at first, I think there was a fear that, you know, there might be job loss with digitalization, but really digitalization in mines has proven to mines that it's actually a new kind of, um, you know, uh, a, a job in itself and it's built this whole new uh, job infrastructure because we need people to manage the data manage the it infrastructure and you know where say the uh, the truck driver was in his truck or her truck before he or she is now um, managing that truck and, and controlling that truck, you know, remotely or um, so there's uh, digitally. And so they're still doing that job. They're just doing that job more efficiently, um, maybe with uh, some more availability and utilization uh, from that uh, equipment. And they're still, their job is still secure. They're just, the, the way their job is um, conducted has shifted. So, you know, um, two things I see as a result of software coming into the mines is that there's, you know, uh, definitely not a job loss. There is definitely, um, you know, uh, going to be a job recruitment for all of the tasks that come around uh, digitalization in a mine, managing the data, interpreting the data, you know, and integrating the data and supporting it. And then there's the shift of the job so that people are still doing the jobs they did, but they're doing them a little differently. And the digitalization is really helping them optimize it, um, increasing accuracy, increasing productivity, uh, increasing utilization. And then again, there's this whole opportunity to really uh, amplify the safety. So uh, it's, a, it's an incredible time because it's like a, a new area in the mines that's being developed and it's kind of its own environment um, as we move forward. So concluding, what is the outlook or for the remainder of 2023 and where can our audience go and find out some more information um, about Epic Rock Software Solutions? Well, you know, 2023 and beyond looks very exciting. Uh, just in Canada, we have our digital solutions being, uh, you know, finalized and implemented across all of the valet mines uh, across Canada, which is very exciting, and uh, Hut Bay. And so, you know, um, those implementations will be finalized in 2023 and uh, we'll start to be uh, seeing some great results. The initial uh, feedback has been incredibly positive. And so, you know, we see that more minds are, you know, growing in interest in uh, what digitalization can do and they're calling, you know, Epiroc Digital Solutions Canada more and asking questions and uh, asking us to see our solutions working in, in our minds, which we, we, we definitely, we take a lot of minds on tours so that they can see how it can work in their mining environment. So it's a really positive time for minds and digitalization and really, you know, moving towards that 24 hours of mining, our, our digital solutions really help minds move to uh, that, you know, vision of a 24 hour working mind that's, you know, um, fully optimized. So that's a powerful thing. And, uh, you know, people can find us by looking uh, online at Epiroc Digital Solutions Canada and just requesting, you know, um, a brief demo or introduction. Uh, if they're interested, we can do a rapid value assessment for them to really help them understand where um, the high value points are within their mind. 
And then uh, further to that, they can find us on uh, all our social media channels. There is on LinkedIn, we have a mining software solutions, a newsletter that goes out every two weeks that highlights case studies of all the successful mine implementations across the world and especially Canada. Yeah, and we can include all those uh, those um, social media channels in our show notes for companies sure. podcast. So um, Dawn, really appreciate your time giving us an overview of um, EpiRock and all the digital solutions that you could provide a mine. Um, I take it it's more for mine operations or can you come in at a, a lot earlier stage? You can come in at a lot earlier stage. I mean, the great part about EpiRock is that we have solutions, my, uh, you know, software companies that can help mines put communication infrastructure into the mines. Uh, we have the plug and play software that can uh, track, you know, the equipment health. And then we have the, you know, mobile air situational awareness, um, you know, shortageable control, all the way to the enterprise um platform, one of a kind enterprise platform called MineRP that can then integrate all data from all OEMs across all um, software mining platforms and integrate it into some visual working data for all uh, mine decision makers. So it's, you know, really powerful. It's right across the whole value chain. So it a, a anywhere a mine is at, we can meet them at that um, place and really provide some value. Yeah, that's great to hear. And um, like I said, I really appreciate your time in providing a, uh, an overview um, of EpiRock. Um, for those that are listening, um, whether you're in operations or maybe um, getting ready to go into operation, um, maybe have a have a look at EpiRock's um, social media channels and their website. Uh, and maybe it may be something that you can, can use within your um, operation. And um, obviously, you can feel free to reach out to Dawn. Um, her details will be uh, accompanying this podcast um, in the show notes. So please appreciate your continued support. Appreciate if you can share this episode uh, amongst others in the industry um, to obviously make others aware in the mining community of such a powerful um, digital solutions that can be used in your operations um, to obviously help efficiency, help in safety, um, and many more things. So um, really appreciate your continued support. And until next time, happy mining. Thank you for listening. Remember to reach out to Rob via the show notes and be sure to subscribe and leave a review. Until next time, happy mining, helping each other to improve the mining industry.